could happen, but let's hold our horses a little bit. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, I've been seeing a lot of people get excited, man. I've been seeing a lot of people get excited all over Twitter. Oh, man, it's going down this week. It's happening this week. Raven's about to sign Todd Gurley this week. Oh, we about to have a loaded backfield. Let's get it. And the hype is cool. The excitement is cool. But at the same time, I just can't get hyped over that. Not that I wouldn't be excited of the thought of having a Todd Gurley in the backfield with a J.K. Dobbins and a Gus Edwards and a Justice Hill. Like, those are your options. Todd Gurley would be a third option at running back for the Ravens. Like, what? And if he can be even half as good as he once was. Even last year. He wasn't bad last year now. He wasn't bad with the Falcons. But even if he can be just... He doesn't have to be the Todd Gurley of old. Because, again, he's, he would not be the starter. He wouldn't even be the second. Like, to have Todd Gurley as your third string running back. Do you, like, listen to that. That would be a beautiful thing. And this guy, like, he's still, I believe he's, like, 27 years old. This dude is still crazy young. He's still crazy young. And then, I know it, it, it just, it makes a lot of sense for the Ravens to sign a Todd Gurley. Not even just because he's from the crib, but because... The Ravens run the ball so much. And now with the NFL adding an extra game. Now, it, it ain't just 16 games. It's 17 games. Injuries happen. Wear and tear happens. Fatigue happens. People get tired. So to add him and somebody that's good at catching passes out of the backfield, something that, something that the running backs, we expect them to be a little more involved in this year. Somebody that can do all those things. Like, it, it, it makes all the sense in the world on paper. But the reason why I'm not getting my hopes up is because of the source where it's coming from. I know NFL Update 247, they tweeted it uh, on Sunday, Sunday morning. They tweeted it. And I know some people sent it to me via DM or some people tweeted it to me. And, and I know a lot of Ravens fans just talked about it in general. Oh, man, hey, it's about to go down. It's about to happen. But I can't get excited about it because I'm not familiar with the source where this all this stuff is coming from so I'm not getting my hopes up I'm not because and, and it's no offense to them I don't know NFL update 247 I don't know who runs the account I don't know who it is I don't know what if they have sources or if they don't have sources they could hop on Twitter and just make something up one day and just because they got a certain amount of followers then people could be like oh yeah let's go let's get it Especially with it being slow season. A lot of people just, they biting at anything. They bite at it. They're like, ooh, NFL News, okay, give, give me that. They bite at it quick. But, and again, they, they could be credible. They could be credible, but I don't know their track record at all. I don't know their track record. So I, I'm not going to get on here and be like, oh, yeah, we about to get Todd Gurley this week. If it happens, okay, cool. I'm with it. But my expectations for it happening based off of this account, are very low. And, and, and I think yours should be too. Now, I can't tell you what to think. And I'm not going to tell you how to feel. And I'm not going to tell you to not be excited. But just think about it. Think about where it's coming from. And I, I, like I said, I don't know that track record. So I don't know if they've broken any news before. I don't know. But I just, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be on here going crazy. Over that, from that. Now, if it came from like 
uh, Ian Rap, and I know not everybody's on the Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter and Mike Garofalo. I know not everybody's on their level. There are some people, some reporters and whatnot, who will break stuff prior to those guys. Some, there are some people that they're not the only people with connects. They're not the only people that's plugged in. But I just I would have to see it from somebody that has uh, more credibility than than that account. So again, it's not a shot at the account. I just I'm naive to what their track record is. That's all it is. But again, Todd Gurley, it, it makes sense now. It does make sense. Todd Gurley to the Ravens, it would be a nice little match. Nice little match. So and again, like I said before, when this whole when Todd Gurley first visited with the Ravens, I um I, I do not think that he poses a threat to Justice Hill's spot on the roster whatsoever. I, I I do not at all. I don't. Because again, Justice Hill, he plays some special teams. Todd Gurley ain't gonna give you special teams. He's not. He is not a special teamer. He would be to me, honestly, he would really be a luxury for the Ravens. He wouldn't be a necessity. He would be a luxury, but it would be a nice luxury to have. Uh, and that nice luxury could end up uh, being beneficial in the long run. Uh, but I think Justice Hill would be safe, even if the Ravens signed the Todd Gurley. Because special teams is very important. And Justice Hill, he plays both ways on special teams. Receiving, if, if the Ravens are receiving the ball, he could be a returner. The Ravens are kicking off the ball, punting the ball. He'll be a gunner. He'll go make some special teams tackle. We done seen it. We done seen that 43 stop people on special teams, man. So, Justice Hill, you, you should be good to go. Well, good to stay. Not good to go. You should be good to stay, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And we'll see if this thing does end up picking any picking up any steam throughout the week. We'll see if anything goes down throughout the cause Because, again, I... Is Monday's gonna come? Tuesday might come, and then Wednesday, and then Thursday, then Friday, and if if Todd Gurley ain't signed, people are gonna be looking like, hey. So NFL Update two four seven. Their uh, their credibility is, is it's on the line. It's on the line, and we've seen all these different accounts say this and say that. And one thing I, I forgot uh, where I saw that, but it was something recently where it said. It, it, it can take forever to gain credibility. It can take forever. And this is not just credibility in the sports world. This is just period. And th this could be with somebody really trusting you, somebody really trusting your word. It can take forever for somebody to trust you. But once they trust you, they trust you. They're like, okay, cool. Okay, you, you're good. You're good. It can take a long time to build that up, but a second to break it. A second to break it. And once it's broken... If somebody is even willing to give you their trust again, it all depends on the person. But if they're even willing to give you their trust again, that can take even longer to build it back up. Especially since that you had their trust before, but you broke it. So with NFL Update 247, hey, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. Uh, so we'll see how this whole thing uh, works itself out. And if Todd Gurley does sign with the Ravens this week, hey, you, you already know, we give you your credit for sure. We give you the credit and be like, hey, NFL 247, they said it. They said it. But if not, you know, the Ravens fans, they don't play. They, they, they don't play. And if you mess around and you give some wrong information to them, oh, Ravens fans, don't forget. And especially now at the time of the season that it, or the time of the off season that it is, and it be an extra slow season, a lot of fans are on edge. They're on edge and they like they they looking for anything. Anything. And if it's incorrect or false information, yeah, you already know they're gonna come for you. Anyway, team keep it clean. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out. <laughs>